You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Fuck! I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
many brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookout! I'm gonna kill you! Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse! Kill ya! You wanna see competition in the marketplace? Fucking O'Neill's! Shit! 
get this! Come on! Nothing but a smoldering fucking rat! I'm gonna burn it to the ground! Burn you disrespectful pricks! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. 
I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! We need a ride.
make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, uh... I got my big guys, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause, you know, I'm getting kinda wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what are you looking? Pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks.
Here's to a king and make it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks.
Look, I'm not knocking that kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, see? Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Ah, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be Wade. Are we nearly there yet? No, way. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, way. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Oh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent. Charisma and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Right there, Los Santos, the end of the fucking earth. This is the place. I seen it on the holiday card. So this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. But you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd Gover and Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nukes. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That cool was the troll's name. Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes 
He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Oh! So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on the I-5 map. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Just keep on a minute. Wrong way, Trevor. Go straight on here. I turn right here. Just straight over this one. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, wait! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. What the fuck is this shit? Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park. Got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you wanna have chopped off or sucked out again. Screw you, Michael. Ah, oh, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh. Is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga! Did someone say yoga? Oh, yeah. hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Miguel. Namaste. Hmm. Nama, go fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? 
Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well... I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, eh, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabienne. Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle her. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yes. You're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Crap! A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts are used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, it's all right? Let's go I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Okay, this will be it. The Maze Bank Arena. Let's find them. Little miscalculation there. Let's find your baby. These faces are as. <laughs> I wanna go. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. 
Ah, oh, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar, huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't even talk to Shake me. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. I'm so crazy. Mm. The dogs stuff a twenty in. Fucking do something about this? Uh, uh, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, oh, hey, hey, I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Come on! No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home! Hey, you little prick! Take the truck. Get in the truck, Michael. I got a deposit on that truck. We're running that prick down. Look, he went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. No one's getting in the way of the big rig. We'll flatten this dick bag. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Hey, man. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer.
wouldn't kill a celebrity, would they? It's not legal. My agent doesn't renegotiate after this shit. He is fired. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm all right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get no! up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. cab here as soon as possible? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Okay, thanks for your help. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. Pinewood Hills. Your thing, man. Let's go! You bet. Here we go. This is as far as I can go. We're actually in Los Santos, San Andreas. Hi, honey. What are you talking about? I am at the gym. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. 
a couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Ah! Oh, Jesus! God! Ah! Back! Surrender! Oh. That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. This guy can't leave having...
Jesus, repent! Oh. Oh. Oh, this the way out?
Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you, big. Now come on, you better take off. 
All right, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. Great track by Dom right here. And shit yourself. Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Never after that poke night. Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
some news. Mainstream news, I might add. Total crap. Shit! Breaking news! Drone wars at the Alamo Sea continue to worsen. Still no breakthrough. Ooh! Too close! Amateurs must continue to worsen. about hanging out with that girl Amber later? Man, I love the internet.
All patched up. Advanced hand sanitizer several times an hour and protect yourself and your loved ones. It's not neurosis, it's good hygiene. Pontius is so hard on germs, it burns off the top layer of your skin, leaving you clean and fresh. And it's so strong, it will one day create a drug resistant super bacteria that will wipe out half of mankind. It's time to sanitize everything. We don't care about ratings. It's not about sponsorships. We're in it for the music. Brought to you by the refreshing taste of being cold. Now available in retro 1950s models. Weasel News. The State Department says the leak of our leak is a lie. An attack on the center of fame or shame as its host flee the scene. Is Los Santos close to getting a football team and becoming a real city? Venture capitalist of What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Namaste. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis see what I of peace and tranquility, a this with one. with anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? 
perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the Murabunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. Very good. Now let it go. You were an athlete once. Come on. It's so simple. Come on. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Let it out. It moves. Amazing. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. Air through the nose and out the mouth. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes. When I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. You can't breathe, can't you? Just exhale, Michael. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. The silly man forgets to breathe. Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Breathe, Mikkel. Out with the breath. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. Now, he breathes. He's got great core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? <laughs> Your core is very weak, Mikhail. Your lungs, they work, yes? We might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. Breathe, please, Mikhail. Let it out. You're turning red. The backward eye between your thigh. Take in the air and release it. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Your inner eye. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through those wrinkled lips. 
So. Breeze, please, Michael. Your aura is just like, wow. Take in the air and release it. Let it out, baby. For a meat eater, it's okay. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that we shit! Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah, fuck you! You know what? If there was. Nice TV. I'm talking Did I pay ear, for that? Soldier. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Where's your friend? Burger shot. Show them what kind of man you really are. A man who is fighting for meaning the only way he knows how. By showing off. It's time to Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when... Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's, what's up? What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh. Yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Yeah, but with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. <laughs> 
Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine now. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. It's not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Stop moaning and drive back. Being so I gotta pull over. Oh, what was in that thing? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You I'll fuck protect the you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account when I'm moving out. Oh, all right. You're too crazy, Dad. Get Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. 
Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh. I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? 
The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Oh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, who expensed this ride to the taxpayer? I need you. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Mike, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that KG motherfucker, huh? No, it's another KG motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job. 
okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring breath, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, ah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at Suicide Pack. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. machine is being monitored. Be careful what you say. They're listening. We're too far from the wall. I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no, no. 
It easy. Oh, come on, give the no. guy a break. Uh. I will get out of this shit. Uh. 
Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the Bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, or to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. Man, I'm drunk, but shit, I ain't getting drunker. Poverty. Cats shooting each other, fighting, scrapping. Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's listen to these West Coast classics and keep it peaceful out there, y'all. Let's do it. The world is mine, nigga, get back. Don't fuck with my stack. The cage is whack. About to drop the bomb, I'm the motherfucking dime. Big fish in a small pond. Not a fish trying to throw they book at the cook, but I shook. They worm and they hook. Dumpies hold they breath. They want to miss me when I trip. So running every close. Time. West of the Mississippi. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? 
Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollusk, sort of a super mollusk, and it's called Priapoles. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollusks, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! I need backup now! All nearby units report immediately!
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared!
Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Let's move it out, people! We need this area clear! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. Let's move it out, people! We need this area clear! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Boss is down! Get an ambulance now! I need backup now! Man. All nearby units report immediately!
Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and new property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Salvation ain't in a can of Sprunk or in a log of beer. Bottled water don't make you beautiful. I'll tell you what makes you beautiful. Big hips, red lips, tiger print pants, moving to this music. Shake yourself back and forth like that. Let's get down to it, boppers. Oh, this is the sound I'm putting down. Is that steaming pile of shit a present for not training you? Let's roll, little homie. Come on.
Good boy. Go get the ball, chop. That's trio, homie. Hey, get the ball for me, boy. Good chop, good chop. Have you had an embolism? No, that shit. Huh? Waster! Hey, you a genetic experiment gone wrong, dog. Holy shit! Oh, you wanna that's get up? That's strange. That should be up. Hey! Uh, roller derby starts in an hour! Oh, oh. You know the way home, Chop. Go! That's not real weed. That does nothing for me, shit. I can't feel anything. Nothing. I can't even feel my fucking toes right now. Man, my toes are fucking dead. My toes are dead. Or my soul. Someone from somewhere out there, they're trying to. So maybe all of our gangster rap is gonna come from China, and then we'll get our, our mellow party jams from India. But for right now, we're keeping everything focused on the streets of Los Angeles.
best mechanic in LS do for you. All patched up.
got great taste. Now that's going to be a smooth ride. Now you've got some juice. I mean, stay real happy. Now, remember, when life gets you down and you can't take it no more, things could be a lot worse. Now, you could be living right there in Liberty City, right? Right? Remember when Liberty City was... Cool? That was a long time ago. Now, ain't nothing there but condos, yuppies, and coffee. It's Whoa. turned into a real bad version of us. Take your time. Hi. Take as long as you like. Those are selling like hotcakes. Thanks for shopping with us. If you can't find your size, we'll order it.
Bye. Enjoy your purchase. We're about to do it. Be Right now we're problem and I am suit. Look like, walk like, smell like cash. You a freak, I can tell that cash. You look like you're fuming. Best time to make weaponry decisions. Well, when the end time comes, I'd rather be holding a peace than a peace sign. I can tell we are going to get along famously. Hi. This oh, To get in this position When my well was dry I'm still making my wishes I was riding around I was risking it But if I didn't do it I wouldn't get the shit Up late nights I'm an asshole It's a few things that I value Money, trust, respect Love, to and my crew I'm taking it with my niggas I'm about this money This whole lot I had to drop my bitch Tell me no hold ups Walk by the VIP We don't do no hold ups Get too close I got some kids Paper, then we're supposed to be up in that boss with a great bag. Came up, you can't hate that.
self-made, you can't take that. Yeah, self-made, you can't make that. Some said I need a record deal, I need a co-sign, I need a Dre track. But all the time I had a mean flow, I had a cold run, and that's a great match. Payback, fuck hoes, and I make racks. And my pockets gon' stay fat, cause I murk beats and I slay tracks. Hey, hey back, wrist rocky like ASAP. Stay strapped like I'm a rab and in a world of lies, I still stay facts. Lame ass, hating niggas take flame baths. All you really doing when you running your mouth is telling me where to aim at. Yuck, nigga, fuck bitches and fuck niggas. If you ain't talking bread, then I don't fuck with you. Hustle. Politics in with my niggas about this money, bitch, hold up. I had to drop my bitch, cause I need no hold ups. Walk right in VIP, we don't do no hold ups. Get too close, I got some killers. Now, I'ma call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gang banger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is this seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy, the boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is this man? Fool, man? What is nigga Man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Home is crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. This is the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? 
Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me the... Give me the... Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler! Fuck ah. you motherfuckers are dead! Roll street like that! You got to move! Fuck! They crossed the bank! We on foot now!
keep our hands down. We ain't gonna lose the cops on these things. Yeah, man, shit, we need to get to Lean. Trevor? You called? No shit! What's happening? My ex-wife called me again. Man! There is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife. Perpetual reminder of life's mistakes. A dreadful mistake. She's thinking of suing me again. For what? You live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, she should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, wrong. On. It's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch! I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, <laughs> I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron! Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing to me for? The answering machine is being monitored. Be careful what you say. They're listening.
Sherpa. This is Oscar. Uh, leave a message if it's urgent. <laughs> 